At odds of 13 to 2. Fraze, a son of the former Australian champion Strawberry Road, at odds of 50 to 1. He's going to stand at stud in Japan after today's race. Paradise Creek at 6 to 1, one of the American representatives, although he is owned by Japanese interests. Marvelous Crown, 33 to 1. Fujiyama Kenzan is at 90 to 1. Rough Habit representing New Zealand and trying to emulate the deeds of Horlicks, who won the race for New Zealand in 1989. He's at 9-2 and he is the first eight-year-old to start in a Japan Cup. The Melbourne Cup winner, Jeune, trained by David Hayes, who won the race with Better Loosen Up in 1990. And Jeune is the sentimental favourite on the New South Wales TAB at 9-4. Now, the one uh, with the 18-letter name is Matakani Tannhauser and he's at odds of 66 to 1. He's one of five Japanese entries in the race. Over the page we go to number nine, Johan Quatz at odds of 40 to 1. Sand Pitt is at 6 to 1. Nice Nature at odds of 80 to 1. Hernando, a four-year-old at 11 to 1. Grand Flotilla at odds of 33 to 1. Rain Trap is at 30 to 1. And Royce and Royce is at odds of 50 to 1. Sand Pitt, uh, is trained by Richard Mandela, who last year saddled up a horse called Kotashan, uh, whose jockey, Kent Desimo, actually mistook the winning post and he stopped riding Kotashan about 100 metres from home and the horse uh, was a certainty beaten in finishing second. So Richard Mandela is hopeful that Sam Pitt uh, can offer some sort of a consolation in 1994. Well, that's the scene at the Fuchu race course in Tokyo. The runners are starting to move into the stalls and very shortly we'll have them on their way, over 2,400 metres, the race has run under wait-for-age conditions. Uh, Corey Nakatani, incidentally, is the rider of Sand Pit. Uh, he was born in Japan, obviously, but has been riding in the United States for quite a, a number of years now with a great deal of success. So it'll be a, uh, a great uh, triumph for Corey Nakatani if he can return to his native Japan and ride the winner of the Great Cup. Well, that's the scene at Fuchu as uh, the last few start to edge into the starting gates. And it's my great pleasure now to pick up commentary on the Japan Cup from 3UZ in Melbourne and calling his fifth Japan Cup, Brian Martin. The scheduled start, magnificent weather here, the best weather I've seen in the six years I've been able to come to Tokyo for the Japan Cup. The weather this week uh, in Tokyo has been superb. Mount Fuji was at its finest. You could see it from the uh, central uh, Tokyo district to today. And the track in excellent order. Huge crowd. Crowd estimated to be around 170 to 180,000 people. Racing fans. And they're here to see the day of the year here in Tokyo. The run to the winning post the first time is about 300 metres. As the field mills now behind the starting gates of Japan tradition, is that a yellow band is drawn across, allowing the horses to exercise and hopefully uh, prevent an escape from one of the runners. It won't be long now. Uh, past, uh, starting time, official starting time has passed, has passed by two minutes. It won't be long now before the field is called up to take their places in the Japan Cup. Some of the world's greatest racehorses about to contest the world's richest horse race and the crowd is starting to cheer with anticipation. Crowd starting to erupt here in Tokyo as we get ready for the 14th running of the Japan Cup. They'll move forward very quickly. Start out up to his dais as Grand Flotilla comes to its stall now. Grand Flotilla prepared by Janine Sahidi. On the inside is Apple Tree. Jean goes into gate number seven. Coming to the line now is Johan Quatz. It goes forward. Sand pit away from the line. 2,400 metres at group one level. Nice nature goes into 11. Gate number eight has been replaced now with the scratching of Matikan Tanhoiser. Jeune in seven. Rough habit in six. Grand Patilla 13. Rain trap goes to 14. Royce and Royce from Japan and Sand Pit to go into 10. And the 14 runners will be set. Coming up now is Rain Trap. He pulls back. Sand Pit. The American goes up. <coughs> now Rain Trap to come into line. Royce and Royce, the last one up. The Japanese horses <coughs> down to four. Royce and Royce goes in. 
They're racing in the Japan Cup and Jern has bounced away only fairly in the centre. And one of the best to begin out in the centre here is Sand Pitty landed in front. Moving up on the inside of it, Fujiyama Kenzan and Marvellous Crown has the rail. Headed off now by Fujiyama Kenzan, who goes to the front of the Japan Cup. Leads by a length now to Sandpit second, Marvellous Crown third. Royce and Royce is fourth, followed back in the centre by Johan Kotz as they start to swing out of the straight. Paradise Creek on the inside there with Hernando. They're followed by Grant Fortilla, nice nature. Oh, Jeune and Rough Habit in trouble. Both hampered, went back to second and third last, and last of all, Rain Trap. And Fraser's back fourth last. 1,800 metres to go now in the Cup. And on the inside here, it's Fujiyama Kenzan being tackled quickly by the American Sandpit. Sandpit goes to the front, leads a length and a half down the back, 1,600 out. From Fujiyama Kenzan, second. Four lengths to Marvellous Crown, third. A length in on the outside is Johan Kortz running fourth. Two or three then to Royce and Royce, Paradise Creek the rail. Then Grand Fertilla back in the middle, nice nature out deep. On the inside then is uh, further back in the race in Apple Tree. Then Hernando, uh, let's have a look for Jeune. He's back fourth last, inside in Fraze in the last two in the Cup of Rain Trap and Rough Habit. They leave the third turn now and they race inside the 1100 and Sand Pits out with a commanding break. It's Sand Pick about three lengths in front. Uh, over on the inside is Marvellous Crown, followed by Fujiyama Kenzan in the middle. Going around the outside now, Johan Kotz has gone up to second. Sand Pit a length in front, Johan Kotz is quickly going to second. They're followed back in the middle by Fujiyama Kenzan. Then Marvellous Crown, nice nature, and further back then Royce and Royce. Well back in the Japan Cup is Apple Tree Hernando. Jern's got a big job to do from there with Rub Habit. They've got two behind them, Rain Trap, and last of all is Fraze. 600 metres to go, and Sand Pit first for home now from on the outside outside coming out after him is Johan Kotz where they straighten up they're followed by Fujiyama Kenzan in the home straight nice nature further back of the track Jern a mile back from Grant Flotilla and Hernando out wider on the course back to the inside Paradise Creek is starting to make up ground in the center Royce and Royce followed by Sand Pit Paradise Creek back on the rail then Jern out of the center getting to the front now Royce and Royce on the inside Paradise Creek marvelous crown back to the rail in the center Paradise Creek marvelous crowns starting to come after it, Marvellous Crown, Paradise Creek, they hit the line, little in this Paradise Creek, Marvellous Crown, I don't know, third Royce and Royce followed by Jeanne, Hernando further back followed by Fraze on the inside from Sandpit, water out of the track, Grand Flotilla, they're followed further back by Fujiyama Kenzan, behind those would have been Johan Kotz, Rough Habit was knocked out of the race early from Rain Trap, then Nice Nature and last of all is Apple Tree, the judge calls for the photo. It's a photo finish to the Japan Cup. Paradise Creek. Paradise Creek and Royce and Royce. And then getting up on the inside, Marvellous Crown. And the two to the line, uh, Paradise Creek and Marvellous Crown. Paradise Creek, Marvellous Crown. Their heads going up and down. And the judge calls for the photo. Marvellous Crown on the inside and Paradise Creek. In a grand finish here to the line with Marvellous Crown completing a stride near the post with Paradise Creek and the judge has called for the photo. This could go either way. This is the tightest of finishes. Marvellous Creek got his stride in right on the line and Paradise Creek came again. It's a photo to rest between the Japanese horse Marvellous Crown the rail who was getting a stride in reaching the line and on the outside Paradise Creek they came with withering runs. Royce and Royce will be third number 15. Fourth in will be Hernando. Fifth will be Ten Sandpit. Right behind them, Jeune. And Jeune and Rough Habit virtually knocked out of the race, going out of the straight. They were both skittle, Brian. At, uh, it was a marvellous performance from Jeune to finish sixth. Rough Habit, that was the end for him. And maybe it's the end for him too, competing at uh, top level internationally. Jeune was uh, courageous in defeat. We've seen a fantastic Japan Cup here today. We still don't know whether it will go to Marvellous Crown or the American Paradise Creek. If Marvellous Crown gets it, it will be a hat trick for the Japanese. For Paradise Creek. Here they come in the head-on shot. We've got Marvellous Crown over on the inside with Paradise Creek. They had shaken off Royce and Royce and the two settled to a titanic battle down to the, to the wire. This is the tightest finish in the 14-year history of this race. And the Japanese will go wild if it goes the way of Marvellous Crown. The Americans pinning their hope on Paradise Creek.
Both jockeys look to each other as they cross the line. Pat Day on Paradise Creek, Imanai on Marvellous Crown. Nobody knows. We're all waiting. The Japanese, of course, wanting their, uh, the number four to go into the screen for Marvellous Crown. And still we wait as we look at the head-on as the field comes over the top with 300 metres to go over the rise. The two horses returning to the enclosure here. The crowd roaring for both. Neither jockey knows in this nail-biting finish. And number four gets it, Marvellous Crown. The Japanese horse has got the photo finish. Number four, number four, Marvellous Crown has nosed out Paradise Creek in the Japan Cup. It is 4, 3 and 15. 4, 3 and 15 to the Japan Cup. Number four, Marvellous Crown. Getting the opening, getting up on the inside of Paradise Creek and the numbers are 4, 3 and 15 to the 14th running of the Japan Cup. Marvellous Crown. 600 metres to go, and Stan Pitt first behind now from on the outside. Coming out after him is Johan Cox where they straighten up. They're followed by Fijiyama Kenzan in the home straight. Nice nature through the back of the track. Gerda Mile back from Grant Butchella and Hernando Boutwider on the course. Back to the inside, Paradise Creek is starting to make up ground. In the centre, Royston Royce followed by Stan Pitt. Paradise Creek back on the rail. Then Gerd out of the centre, getting to the front now. Royston Royce on the inside, Paradise Creek. Marvellous Crown back to the rail. In the centre, Paradise Creek. Marvellous Crown starting to come after it. Marvellous Crown, Paradise Creek, they hit the line. Little in this Paradise Creek, Marvellous Crown, I don't know. Gerd Royce and Royce followed by Jern.